guys, it's Rachel. All right, so for today's video, I'm going to be talking with you guys about my favorite drugstore products. A lot of you have mentioned that you don't really notice me using a ton of drugstore products in my videos, and I don't really do that on purpose. It's not like a snobby thing, like I only want to use expensive products and I don't want to use things from the drugstore. I think it just is kind of a coincidence, to be honest. I think I just happen to like products that are from department stores a little bit better than drugstore products. Um, if I think a product is really great, I don't care how much it costs or where I get it from or what the name is or the label, if it's $2 or if it's $30, I don't really care how much I have to pay as long as it works. I'll pay, you know, a lot of money for a concealer if it is the best concealer I've ever tried, as opposed to wasting my money going through a bunch of different kind of, you know, three, four, six, eight dollar concealers that I end up not liking and throwing away. So um, it's not really that I do it on purpose, it's, it's more just kind of my preference seems to be that I kind of veer towards liking department store products a little bit more. But I do have drugstore products that I do love, kind of like my go-to, must-have favorite drugstore products. Now, they may not be my favorite overall, like I may love a drugstore cleanser, but I may love a department store cleanser a little bit more, so in one of my videos, I might show the, the department store cleanser, but today I'm gonna show you exclusively my favorite drugstore products. Okay, so my first favorite product from the drugstore is by Biore, and this is the Biore Pore Unclogging Scrub, and this is definitely a favorite of mine. Um, it's just a simple cleanser, it has salicylic acid in it, so it's more for acneic skin. Um, I get hormonal breakouts, I always have, ever since I was 19, so I get like breakouts around my chin, mostly around my chin, sometimes on my cheeks, um, rarely on my forehead, but mostly on my chin. And I like to use some sort of cleanser that has salicylic acid, it's my preference. So Biore, this pore unclogging scrub is one of my favorites. Um, it's just a simple cleanser and I keep it in the shower. So this is my favorite one from the drugstore. I would definitely check this out if you haven't already, especially if you have skin similar to mine where it's kind of like oily and breaks out a little bit, you're gonna like this. The second product that I love is by Neutrogena and really you can get any brand of um, cleansing remover cloths or wipes. These Neutrogena Deep Clean Oil Free Makeup Remover Cleansing Wipes are the ones that I'm currently using right now. I'm not a huge fan of the smell, to be honest, but I really do like these. They remove the makeup really well. And um, the e.l.f. ones are my second favorite. So if I can't get my hands on the e.l.f. ones, which a lot of times they're sold out, I'll get these Neutrogena. And the reason I like these is because they're oil-free, so I don't break out as a result of using these. What I love these for is, you know, to keep a packet in my purse if I'm gonna be at a friend's house and I wanna take off all my makeup and just put my hair up and watch a movie and chillax. Or if, you know, I'm going somewhere, I don't, I am not the kind of person that likes to have piles and piles of makeup on. So I like to have a way to remove my makeup. And then also I keep these on my sink because a lot of times once I get home from something and I have a lot of makeup on, I'll immediately go into the bathroom and remove my makeup with these and then maybe wash my face right away or maybe wash my face later before I go to bed. But I love to use these first before washing my face. It makes all the difference. So check these out. This has. Um, 25 Primo Moistened Towelettes. My next favorite is this BB Cream by Garnier Fructis. Now I originally purchased this and it took me a while to use it because when I had mentioned it in a haul, I heard from a lot of you guys that you didn't like it. So I was kind of afraid to use it. A lot of you had said it was oily or it made you break out. So I hadn't used it. So my friend text messaged me and she was like, oh, I just watched your haul and I just wanted to let you know the BB Cream by Garnier Fructis is like one of my favorite products. And I was like, I'm actually really glad that you text messaged me because I was a little afraid to use it because I kept hearing it was so oily and slick. So I just kind of put it away and didn't ever try it. But once I tried it, I really, really like it. Um, I My favorite BB cream is Skin 79, the like pink bottle, but that's a pretty thick BB cream and that's like $42. This one's even lighter than that and um, I don't know, I find that this is a really, really nice BB cream. I'm wearing this on my skin right now and I actually really like it. It doesn't feel oily or slick or anything. So um, I'm really, really loving this Garnier Fructis Skin Renew Miracle Skin Perfector. This is light, medium BB cream. I would definitely check this out. It's worth trying out, seeing if you like it personally. Um, and depending on where you buy it, you can take it back if you don't like it. But this has definitely been one of my favorites from the drugstore. 
My next two favorites are two products that I use every single day without fail. I go back to the drugstore to get them right away if I run out. And that's, uh, the first one is the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. Um, I like Lancome Mascara, but this I like even better. I would say Lancome Hypnose Mascara is one of my favorites, but this one wins over Lancome Hypnose. And Lancome Hypnose is like $30 and this one's like between six and eight dollars. Um, really good length, really good thickening. I wear it every single day without fail. Um, so I would definitely check this out if you're looking for a really good mascara. It is the best mascara and lots of celebrity makeup artists and makeup artists from all over the world uh, use this and recommend it. So this is probably my number one favorite product from the drugstore. And then this product by e.l.f., which is available at Target. I don't think it's available at every single drugstore, but this is the eyebrow kit. Um, this is the medium. And I mostly just use this, this side right here. Um, and I just fill in my brows, even though it's not really necessary to fill in my brows because I already have dark brows. I just find that when I do fill them in, they look even darker and bold and it just makes all the difference. And even when I go get my brows done, the lady always fills them. So this is my favorite brow, brow filler. And I think with brow fillers, like I've seen expensive ones and this one is by far the best brow filler. I love it and I've already had it for a year and I use it every single day without fail. My next favorite product from the drugstore is the hair fertilizer, which you guys have heard me talk about a lot. I heard about this hair fertilizer um, actually from Jennifer Hudson. She uses it and I think I read about it in one of the InStyle magazines like probably a year and a half ago. So I went out and bought it. Now you have to get this in the um, African American hair care department. So it's not in the regular hair department, it's in the coarse black hair department. So you have to look for it there. And this is the Organic Root Stimulator Hair Fertilizer. And it's a nourishment for healthy hair and scalp. So it's like a cream. And what you do is you just take a little bit, rub it between your hands and really massage it into the scalp. And you can put like coconut oil on your ends and put your hair up in like a um, a bun or in a shower cap and go to sleep and then in the morning make sure you wash it out really 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 good and what it does is it has stimulating ingredients that help stimulate your hair to grow um, so keeping it in your hair overnight will help stimulate your hair to grow so it has a bunch of stimulating ingredients in it and hydrating ingredients I think it's like cinnamon and cayenne pepper so it actually like stimulates the follicles to grow and I found that it worked maybe I'm like my head's in the clouds, but hey, whatever. It's only $6 and I found it kind of like a fun little treatment to put in your hair and you can feel the tingling. They have a serum version of this at Sally Beauty Supply that you can get, but I think it's like $12 and this one's six. And uh, this one is a little bit more oily, so if you tend to have oily hair, try the drops instead. Um, but just make sure that you wash this out really, really good. But if you're looking to grow your hair or you're noticing hair loss or anything, try this out, see if it works. Okay, the next product that's my favorite, I actually did get at a drugstore in the United States. I got it at a drugstore in London and I'm not sure if it is available in the United States. If you guys know, I would love to know. Um, but this is the Nivea Pearl and Beauty 48 hour beautiful underarms antiperspirant deodorant. So it's a spray deodorant and I love this. I'm going to be so sad. It's almost out when it runs out. I'm going to be so sad because I love this stuff. I'm not a huge fan of like regular deodorants. They feel like they clog my pores and I know this one probably does too but it just feels a little bit lighter um, so this is one of my favorite drugstore deodorants I'm gonna try to start using natural deodorant but I do really like this one so yeah if you know if it's available in the United States where I can find it let me know in the comments below my next favorite is I think only available at Target and some drugstores in the UK um, I'm not exactly sure how many drugstores or which drugstores carry um, boots number seven, but this is a uh, number seven beautiful skin energizing mask. It's a peel-off mask But this peel-off mask doesn't hurt some peel-off masks when you peel them off They hurt like they grab onto your like little baby peachy hairs and they really hurt But this one doesn't it leaves your skin looking really glowy and dewy and everything and I use this probably you know maybe once uh, a week or you know twice a month or whatever um, but yeah, it's just kind of like um regenerate or energizing mask um, and you can just use it once a week as part of your skincare routine and this is definitely one of my favorite masks that's available and by far my favorite peel off mask that's available at the drugstore so try this one out this product is really really great this is by Olay and uh, when I used to work for philosophy as a skincare specialist they had a product called the micro delivery peel and it was I think $65 or $70 I don't even remember anymore but um, 
when I found out about this one by Olay, which is called the Microdermabrasion Treatment, I remember looking at it and thinking, gosh, that looks an awful lot like the Micro Delivery Peel, which I loved using back when I worked for Philosophy. So I purchased this one. I mentioned it in my drugstore haul a few months back. Um, I've been using it pretty consistently. It's actually almost out. And I love to use this when, you know, like girlfriends come over and we're doing face masks and watching movies or whatever. Um, and I use it on myself pretty frequently. And on Byron. Byron, I usually give him like I'll sit him down and make him get like little face treatments. <laughs> so this Olay Regenerous is like a two-step. It's just like the micro delivery peel from uh, uh, Philosophy. So you have the physical exfoliants, which is kind of like the citrusy smelling and looking scrub. And that you put on your skin first. And that's the physical exfoliation, just like any other granule scrub. And then you put this uh, peel activating serum with lactic acid over it and it has a chemical response and you feel like a little bit of warmth. And the lactic acid is a chemical exfoliant, which is lactic acid is what's in milk. So when the physical and chemical mix, it creates a little warmth and then you keep rubbing it in and you leave it on for like, mm, I don't know, like two to five minutes. And when you take it off, your skin looks really nice and glowy and exfoliated. Um, and it's actually a really nice little treatment to have. So. Um, I really like this actually. I use it all the time and it's a great exfoliation treatment. It's pretty much exclusively an exfoliation mask. So my favorite hairspray from the drugstore is L'Oreal El Net Satin. This is the extra stronghold hairspray. Um, some people don't like the smell of this, but this is by far my favorite hairspray. Um, just in general, even from drugstore or not from drugstore, I don't like to spend a lot of money on hairspray to be honest. Um, and I also am not a huge fan of hairspray because I don't like when I can't brush out my hair or it looks too stiff or it looks like I'm wearing hairspray. So this hairspray is extra stronghold, but you don't really notice that you're wearing hairspray. So that's what I love about this. And I always buy the small bottle so that I can carry it in my purse. Um, so yeah, I mean, there's not much to say about hairspray, but this is my favorite drugstore hairspray. Finally, I have three drugstore blushes that I really love, and I'm a big blush fan. Um, I use the Can Make blush that Ingrid gave me on most days, but these are also some blushes that I love to wear and all available at the drugstore. So the first one is by e.l.f., which is available at some drugstores, and it's a very, very pink, 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 pink blush. So you have to like that like pop of pink, but it's actually not too, it's not too bad once you put it on. I mean, you could probably see it's definitely pink, but it's not like clown pink. So I love this one. This one's called um, Pink Passion. That was a really, especially if you're a really big fan of pink blushes, which I am. Um, and then this is the Dream Bouncy Blush which I love, I just love to like feel this blush because it's all like squishy. I love it. And I don't know which color this is. This is like the most raspberry looking one that they have. And it doesn't say, so that's kind of annoying. But I do like these blushes. They're cream blushes, so you can even take a brush to it and apply it. But really good if you have dry skin to use cream blushes. And my final one is this is also a blushable cream blush. This is by NYC. And this is the Cream Stick in uh, New Yorker Berry. And this is kind of like a berry blush. And it's definitely a darker berry. So if you have like an, a more olive toned skin, that one's really nice for the winter time. So um, yeah, that's pretty much completes all my favorite drugstore products. Let me know if there are some drugstore products that I didn't mention that you think I absolutely need to try and would blow my socks off because I'm always interested in trying a really amazing product. Um, yeah, so leave that in the comments below. Hopefully you enjoy this video and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.